Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, and that means we're going thrifting. So I am here at my favorite thrift store. They have just opened up their expansion. The last video that I took you on, they were still working on it. It is finally open, so let's go see what we can find. back at the house um, I did not get a lot I only got three things but I just love walking around there and like I said the owner is so sweet so I talked to her for a while and she was totally okay with me recording she knows that I started a YouTube channel and like I said she's just so sweet so at the store today um, I think orange tags were 50% off the books were um, five for a dollar and that's where I get all of my paperback books from when I do my book stacks. I always go there. So I didn't get any books this time. And I really wanted to get some other pieces. So um, I'm hoping that when those tags go 50% off, they'll still be there. But you know, at thrift stores, you just, you can't guarantee if those pieces will be there or not. So I'm hoping tomorrow, I mean Monday, when the store opens up again, they'll have a new tag and hopefully the stuff that I was looking for will be that color tag that's 50% off and that they're still there. So maybe in an upcoming video, they'll, we'll have them. 
I don't know. Anyways, that was total rambling. Let's just get into what I got. So nothing that I got was 50% off, but that's okay. That's okay. Her prices are amazing. I'm fine. The first thing that I got was this. I don't know if this is a apothecary jar I or just a really pretty jar, but I love, I just love the, the shape of it and the top. Um, I love these in the bathroom. They're great for, you know, the cotton balls or the facial pad things. Um, I want to put Q-tips in this one. Even Epsom salt with a nice little like wood or metal scoop, beautiful in this. And I paid two or three dollars for this. I can't remember. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, then you know that I like to style, I love modern farmhouse and vintage pieces, like combining them. And yes, I love modern farmhouse, but I don't decorate with like farmhouse items, you know, like the chickens, cows, pigs, things like that. But I, in another video, I got, I picked up a rooster and I'm, that, you know, not for me, but I picked it up to do a DIY and I'm actually going to do the same thing with these pieces that I got and they're, they're together and they're little pigs that I just thought it was so cute. It actually, okay. I know they're pigs, but I just thought about like, you know, like if they were puppies or kittens that were laying together, it was just so cute. So I am going to paint these up and do like a textured paint possibly like the um like concrete look to it just to change up the fact that they're legit pigs i don't know i just thought they were so cute so these together were four dollars i just i don't know why i just kind of pass it up and i wanted to see if i could do anything with them the last thing I got this for me and I'm not sure if it's in any of the video clips, it may be, but I saw this when I was leaving and I ended up going back in to get it. I'll see if I can. And I'm going to be redoing this. I'm not keeping this as is, but it's a uh, footstool, but look at the feet. It's awesome. I just, I love the feet so much and um, it's definitely an older piece. I'm going to take it apart and redo it. Um, I paid $7 for it. So the wood feet come off and I'm going to do the oven cleaner stripping method on these and see how it turns out. If it doesn't work, then if it doesn't work how I'm hoping that it works out, then I'll just, I'll paint them or stain them or something. So I'm going to do that. And then I will recover the top with probably just drop cloth because it's a neutral color and it will go with the rest of my house. And I'm actually going to, let's see if I can turn this around, the camera around. I'm actually going to keep it right here in my front room. It'll go right there because, um, on the weekends when I'm drinking my coffee, I sit in the chair and Trigger actually sits with me. <laughs> He's ginormous, but he loves to curl up on my lap. So that's where we sit in the mornings when I'm drinking my coffee. And I used to have a really pretty wicker footstool that he actually tore up when he was a puppy puppy. <laughs> So I had to get rid of it and I have been missing a footstool and I've been looking for one. So I saw this, I'm gonna redo it and that will also be in a video coming up very soon. Actually, I decided that I'm going to include the flip of this ottoman in this video. So let's go and get into that project. I started by unscrewing the feet from the ottoman, which was a little bit more of a pain in the butt than I thought, so I'm just going to fast forward through that, but got them taken off, and I took them outside, cleaned them up, and I started to spray them with the Easy Off Oven Cleaner. If y'all haven't seen any of my other recent videos, um, 
you should probably go back and look because I'm kind of obsessed and I definitely go into more detail with the oven cleaner, like how it strips and what I, my method to using it. Um, I will leave those links in the description, but essentially I put them in a box and I do one good thorough coat of the oven cleaner, let them sit for 20 minutes, and then I get a little bucket of water and my toothbrush, and I scrub them until I get all of the easy off, off, and then I rinse them off a little bit, I do a second coat, same exact thing, and then I let them sit in the sun to dry, and this is what it looks like after two coats of the easy off, and it is exactly what I was looking for. Um, here, my dog Trigger thought it was a chew toy. So one leg is screwed up, but thankfully these are just for me, or this ottoman is, is for me, so I don't have to worry about it. But these legs came out exactly how I was hoping. I'm so happy with how the Easy Off stripped it. So anyways, I disclaimer here, um, I am not a expert with reupholstering anything. I think this is like the third time I've ever done it. So it took me forever to remove the fabric from the ottoman, but I cut it, finally got it taken off. And as you could see, there was like a pillow stuck in it, which explained why I was like funky when I first got it. So re removed everything. And then I really wanted to use drop cloth for the fabric. So I had some um, I did not have drop cloth. That's right. I had to go to uh, Harbor Freight and buy the drop cloth and I washed it because it smells if you don't wash it. So I washed it and dried it, laid it out so I could cut out roughly the size of the ottoman. And obviously I went a little bit larger so that I could always cut down the pieces once I staple everything together and I literally just start with one side and I staple them down and then I go to the opposite side and make sure everything is smooth and I pull it tight and I staple the other side and then I do the same exact thing to the other two sides and trigger here is checking out what I'm doing and trying to help always by my side and then I just screw the um, the feet back on and it was a super quick and easy project. It really was super budget friendly too because if I didn't have to buy the drop cloth for the eight or nine dollars, it would have just cost me the seven dollars for the ottoman. For these cute little piggies, I'm going to be doing a oh. textured paint and I am going to be using equal parts of um, baking soda and paint. I ended up combining um, gray latex like house paint that I had with a darker gray acrylic paint like the Anita's brand that I get from Hobby Lobby. I combined those two paints together to get the color I was looking for and like I said, I did 50-50 and stirred it up really well and I applied it to all over to little piggies and I used a hair dryer to dry in between um, coats because I'm a super impatient crafter and let me know if y'all are impatient too so I had to blow dry it because I just wanted to get it done so I did two coats and once they were completely dry then I added the DIY white wax to both pigs and I let it sit for a couple seconds and then I took a paper towel and I just dabbed all over the little pigs until most of the white wax was removed and just a little bit was left kind of like you know around the ears around the you know the nose the eyes just you know parts of the piggy had or piggies had some of the white wax showing.
what did you guys think of the ottoman flip do you like it please let me know in the comments and also let me know if there's anything at the thrift store that i passed over that you would have grabbed if you love thrift flips uh, thrift hauls diy projects anything like that please like this video please consider subscribing and i will see y'all in the next video bye